We're probably the first generation in civilization that treats clothes as disposable. Our generation was the generation of faster, cheaper. It's a typical Hong Kongers thing that it's kind of useless to recycle because they know that the recyclables end up in the landfill. Shockingly, over 300 tons a day is sent to the landfills just in Hong Kong. So how can we find a sustainable path where people can enjoy new creative ideas in how they dress, but at the same time, don't screw up the environment completely by rape and pillage of our natural resources. We do things that most people don't want to do, which are things that are hard to do, and so we have enough appetite for us to say, we're gonna try these things. I went from pinch me, I can't believe this is my job, to where is the purpose in what I'm doing and what do I want to leave as a legacy for my kids. In a first situation, Buddha says, just keep playing. If you're doing the right thing, the right people will come and help. We have a lot of textiles out there that is currently just waste. And why not use that waste and, and turn that into a valuable resource to make new clothes? We're building a mill that will produce recycled yarns. Uh, the first reaction was, it's impossible. At this moment, it's not realistic. Very difficult. Recycle is an online platform for buying and selling secondhand kids' fashion. The Chinese are particularly skeptical about secondhand children's clothing because they don't want to pass on bad luck from the previous owner. FeeCycle aims to tackle social and environmental issues through collecting and recycling plastic bottles to get processed into yarn and fabric. The cost is too high and there's no profit, so no company are doing this kind of business. It's never been done before, what we're trying to do. So am I worried? Yeah, absolutely. We don't know if this is going to work. The conveyor belt's going the wrong direction. There's a lot we want to accomplish, and we're always constrained by being a startup and having to work with small budgets. We didn't anticipate so much we had to do, and money that I borrowed from my relatives are soon running out. We were initiated to help contribute to the industry becoming circular. The circular economy is incredibly important. If we don't have a circular economy, our future generation will suffer. We'll be drowned in waste. Simple as that. What is a circular... Circular economy. Economy.